Okay, are we here? Are you there? You guys, I'm so sorry. The last... Oh, let me turn this around. Ah. Hey! Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you see this beautiful ocean? Alright guys, sorry about that. The last live video, like, uh, YouTube shut down. So, I don't know what the heck happened, but we're back and we're live from Cancun Hotel Zone. You can see it all behind me. Yay! Tangerine travels in the house! Aw, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know where you guys are watching from and when you're coming to Cancun, when you're coming to Mexico. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, we're live. Okay, I hope, I hope YouTube doesn't shut down on me again. So um, we're going to do a walkthrough. I've been staying at this condo. It's a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom condo. I've been staying here for the last five days. And unfortunately, we're checking out today. So this is totally a place I recommend. Like I would say come here with even two families. It's like four bedrooms, like it's huge. Or I think of a girl's trip um, or a couple of couple or a few couples but you're right here on the beach. And um, just to kind of give you guys a heads up, first off, like I said, mention where you guys are watching from and when you're coming to Mexico. Um, I'm, I'm new to YouTube Live, so be patient with me. <laughs> oh, I see your comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it says, hey Trish, we are here when you get things ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's Viv. Daryl Peters, yeah, baby you and the ocean thanks 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 hey from Canada so the weather oh my gosh well of course it's a little humid but I will say the breeze is nice I'm not sweaty Betty yet so I say it's like I don't know like 85 maybe I don't know I don't even know you guys um, 85 nice breezy wind and you're in the ocean you're next to the ocean so like I said we're gonna do a walkthrough of this place um, just to give you a heads up, I'm going to make two other videos. There will be an edited video of like my overall experience and then there will be an actual like raw walkthrough. What I want to do for you guys is, is every property that I stay at, um, do a walkthrough because I get a lot of questions about like, well, how far is the pool from the room or how far is it a walk to the beach? Um, and if you guys have any questions like that at this property too, please ask away. I'm like I said it, I'm learning. <laughs> hey, LA in the house, Randy Amores. Face the sky, Scott, the face of the sky. I did have a shot of his cow, so be patient with me there too. Uh, Edward, viewing from Philadelphia. I'm a tangerine. Yay, me too. What do we call my Trish Advisor people? Fans? Fannies? Somebody said call them fannies. <laughs> like tangerines. I thought that was funny. Um, but anyways, the idea is, is that to give you like a walkthrough to see like the whole property as a whole, which you're going to see right behind here. One of the things I'm really excited to show you guys is Jose Luis here. Actually, he, he helped me today. Hi, uh, totally not paying attention. I helped him dig up turtle eggs today, this morning at like seven in the morning. Um, basically what happens is the the birds like eat the turtles if they hatch during the day so what they do is they wait till the nest is ready um, and you can tell because the nest actually sinks into a hole I'm gonna do a post about this on Facebook so you guys can understand it so we dug up the turtle eggs today and that will be in the edited video to show you and then what they are not the eggs the turtles because they already hatched and then they keep them here safely and then we did a they do a turtle release every night at nine o'clock because the birds aren't around so they're able to they have a much higher chance of surviving um getting past the um uh the birds and stuff so trishies <laughs> tangerine. tangerine travels does the trishies uh facets of jan i want to come to cancun so this is helpful Yes, that's the idea. So we're going to do the walkthrough, but I just kind of wanted to do the intro of the place. Tangerine Travels. What? I got my first super chat. That's so cool. Thank you, guys. 
says, thanks for being the best guide in Kiru. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I don't know how that works. I don't know about super chats. If you guys know about that stuff, please help me out because I really don't get it yet. Okay, so we're gonna walk over to the pool and we're gonna check that out. Let's turn this around. Oh, I think they're gonna fly drone. What are they doing over there? Okay, so let's go to the pool. The pool is giant. And I'm gonna see if I can show you guys the, uh, the nests of the turtles. But like I said, there will be two more videos that come out on the location. That will be the edited video and then the other one that will be the walkthrough. So this is the giant pool. There's two pools. I want to be a Trishery at the Trisherini. So that is the nests over there. that after 55 days they should be close to hatching and they watch it to make sure when the dome sinks then they pull up the uh the turtles and they give them a better chance of survival releasing them at night so look at how big this pool is we spent lots and lots of time and the tangerine travels came for a little visit too okay woo -woo. diego in the house Okay, good question. Facets of Jan, she says, is this an all-inclusive? No, this is a four bedroom condo and it's between the all-inclusives. What we did is we went grocery shopping and basically once you get there or get here, you literally don't want to leave. Like we actually asked for an extra night because we were like, can we stay one more night? It's so beautiful. So, okay, let's do a walk through the place. How about that? And again, let me know any questions you guys have, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. Does this include breakfast? Oh, so let me mention that. Irma is uh, the cleaning lady and the chef. And for $30, this can sleep up to eight people. For $30 a day, she will cook for you. So obviously she can get the, I think it is that she can get the groceries and cook for you. Um, I'll confirm that. But I'm gonna put the VRBO link in the description and please mention that you did hear about this through my Trish advisor so we can track that make sure I'm doing a good job for you guys but it'll be a VRBO link and Irma she will cook for you um, we didn't have her here to cook because I had my friends cook <laughs> but she's so sweet and I heard she can do it all so let's go through so this is the patio and these are the two patios upstairs Okay, a cook is available, yes. $30 a day, I know. Look at this place, I just, sorry. Okay, let's get inside. And I love the flowers. So huge patio doors. We got some amazing drone footage. Okay, so the ACs and this furniture so comfortable we were playing games here and eating cheese and wine last night tv and then actually i didn't realize this till the second day but it comes with like everything like boogie boards and even a fishing pole games all kinds of stuff okay look at this giant area hola irma there she's here she's here the chef is here so eight Seats for the table, big beautiful kitchen, handsome man in the kitchen. And they have everything. And I'm not kidding, it's an understatement when I say everything. Like fancy fishing pole to find your Trishies. <laughs> fancy pots and pans. Oh, the chef is in the house. Double door fridge, hey. So this is the half bath. Say hi, Arima. Hi, <laughs> so 
So this is the half bath downstairs. Okay, we'll wait till you guys get to, we can't even see anything, guys. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Come for me, so put it on. Okay, Biggie and DD Adventures, hey from Texas. Uh-oh, say hi, there's Buddy Day and Frank. Woo, okay. Okay, hold on, am I missing your questions? Sorry. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, we had the AC on and then we opened the doors, so that's why the floor is a little wet. So this is the first bedroom. This is where we stayed. Look at that view. So nice, right? Hold on. Again, there we go. Mikey, hi Mikey. Hello from Toronto. So this is the second floor view. I know. We're sitting up here having coffee. I can't even believe it. Like pinch me, I live here. I mean, not here. I wish I lived here. Nice comfortable furniture. And I was surprised. Like last night we went to Chadrawi, which in the video you guys will see my Chadrawi footage. The Chadrawi is like the most amazing grocery store I've ever seen. But uh, you just go grocery shopping and then you want to stay here. Yeah, so Eric Rackett, he asked how much. Uh, I think it ranges. Um, it's $450. Hi, a night. Anywhere from like $380 to $450, I think, depending on the season. But again, I'm going to put that in the description in the VRBO link. Let me get out of the way. And be sure to mention you heard it through me. Okay, so let's turn this around. Boom shakalaka. Oh, we had an awesome God's country. Amen. Okay. So they pretty much the rooms all look the same except for the bathrooms. This one has a shower. Okay. There's my mess. All right. And I love the glass, like how it still keeps it open, but it keeps you safe. And then what's amazing is look, this is the lagoon view side. This side has two bedrooms, I mean two beds. And then a pool. Like there's, this is giant. Yay, Eric will be at Desire Pearl. Woo! Is this home in Playa? No, this is in Cancun. So we are in the Cancun hotel zone and we're on the south side of the hotel zone. Again, I'll have the link in the description. Let's see if you guys can see this. Oh, you can see the lagoon barely right there. So there's a patio out here. Phew. <laughs> oh, I almost fell. Look at all that closet space. Whoop. Okay. Now we go upstairs. How big is it? Hop in. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> I, I want to get a shot of me in the that pool, that tub. So this is the third floor. Like I said, it's the same exact layout. Look at this. This is the best view, I think. I mean, they're all amazing views, though. Not going to lie. But you can see we're next to condos here. And on the other side, there is an all-inclusive. Oh, Darren, I know. That's why I got away from Iowa. I'm like, why do people live here? It's so cold. <laughs> Iowa gets like... With the windshield, it's like, you can't even breathe, it's so cold. Okay, we're gonna go to the last room. Same bathroom. There, look at that lagoon. So king size bed, and then same with the bathroom in here. Okay. And this is the lagoon, so it's on the really thin part. Like I said, I will put this in the description box, the VRBO link so you guys can get all the deets. And you can see our patio to the second floor right there. What do you guys think? Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. First YouTube live ever. I'm like always nervous to go live, you guys. Wow, it's a nice place, right? Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna turn this around so you don't see sweaty buddy. Okay, let's go out to the view one more time. Boom. Oh, just love it. Say hi, Frank. Hi. 
There's going to be a part in my edited video. You guys have to see his edited part because he's going to make it very dramatic. Look at this pretty light. Okay, we'll go out to the view one more time and then we'll end the live. But I wanted to try YouTube live. Look at this pretty girl. This is my model. Oh, say hi, family. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. The view with the margarita on the rocks. Yes. Well, for me, it would be a mezcal margarita. No, don't end it. You guys are funny. Yeah, you guys. So Tangerine Travels has been like, you guys, you have no idea. Or maybe you do. They've been so supportive of my channel and just helpful for everything I have questions on, which I have a lot of questions. Um, and it's a lot of work. Like a lot of people don't realize this and what all the work that goes into making videos. I'm learning how to edit. I was supposed to have a video out on Saturday, but I'm not very good at editing and I'm learning. So I'm just so glad you guys, um, Maddie and Jordan have been so kind with me. Um, like kind of in the social media world, there's this like whole like if you have more followers or I just and I hate the term influencer like I told somebody I was like I want to be an informer not an influencer like I just want to help you guys have a better experience in Mexico and feel more confident about traveling here and Maddie and Jordan have just been so like humble and sweet I want to cry right now because it's a lot of pressure you know you're putting yourself out there and for people to like judge you on everything, whether it's from the boogers in my nose to the wrinkles on my face. And yeah, Biggie says, yes, it is a big curve and I have no attention span, but like I was with these like influencers. I like, I, I hate that term. I really, really hate that term. And this guy came up to me and he's like, how old are you? And I was like, I didn't even think about my age because these other people were like 22, 24, and here I am 38 and I'm trying to just like make good informational stuff for you guys. And then I started thinking, I was like, oh my God, I'm so old and I'm not skinny or whatever. And I don't want to worry about those things. Like I don't, I don't want people to, um, how do you say it? Like, I think everything is so, everything has to be so perfect or, you know, um, I don't know. I just, I hate that side of the social media world and I just want to give good information. I don't care about my age. I don't care about, well, I do care about what I look like, but I don't want to let my weight or how I feel about myself sometimes stop me. And I realize, like I have friends that haven't even come to visit me in Mexico because one friend hasn't lost 20 pounds. And I'm like, don't let that stop you. Like I get discouraged sometimes. Like I have like gray hair that I haven't dyed because of coronavirus. And I'm like, you know, I'm still gonna go out and I'm gonna make good videos and, well, maybe not good videos. I'll try to make good videos. Uh, <laughs> just to make good informational content for you guys because I get so many questions. So anyways, thanks for hanging with that little spout because the reason I just say that is like Tangerine Travels has just been so helpful and I'm just so thankful for them because like I said, it's like, if you're if you have more followers like on Instagram or Facebook it's like you can't deal with the little people if they don't have followers and stuff like that it's like I don't know why people are so caught up in the numbers like I hate the numbers like I just want to make sure I'm giving good information and if you guys watch Maddie and Jordan you'll see like they give so much information in their videos oh Biggie says I'm fat and happy me too um, they give so much information in their videos and I really respect them for that because it's like they take so much time to really think out what they do and I really just respect them for what they do and how much effort they 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 put into it so anyways I don't know why I went on that rant but just thank you so much Tangerine Travels and thank you for those that have followed them and now follow my page um, that's just really really awesome <laughs> Edward says Trisha Alaska speaks highly of you Darren says keep doing what you do educating people about the Riviera Maya you're only going up from here oh God did make me this way thanks Biggie <laughs> yeah VS Nizuk oh thanks oh Steve's on here say hi Steve all right so I wanted to show you guys the turtle eggs 
anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna make another video about this that you guys will see like the whole experience and we, we release the turtles and the security here takes care of the turtles like well and they take care they take care of us too like they're very vigilant about making sure people don't get on the property and all that but it was just a really good location to be it took us 23 minutes to drive here from Puerto Morelos which whenever you think of hotel zone I always think of 45 minutes um, and there was nightlife I mean the clubs were open um, I wish I was surprised but they were like social distancing even in the clubs so we hope you never lose your oh this is tangerine travels we hope you never lose your bubbly optimistic confident unique personality because of some stupid things some miserable person said yeah I mean but those things they do like you know sometimes they do get to you and then you think about like like I said I didn't even think about my age until the guy said it I was like well I'm 38 but like I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do um do you have a video or advice on moving to Mexico love from Toronto that's Annabelle um so I, I don't yet uh if tangerine travels if you guys have one i don't know if you can put it in the link or put a link there i know you guys do i will be make be making some but i'm i'm kind of backlogged with about five videos right now but i will make one about moving buying building um buying building and renting in mexico as well say hi to alma and alberto oh that's so cool when I want to release the turtles. Oh, uh, they're doing it every night at nine o'clock. Um, and there's tons of nests. Um, I'll see if I can maybe do a post on my Facebook so you guys can at least see a clip there. Did I get, do you have a video? I would love to leave the resort one day and meet you and the tangerine gang. I always tell people if I can, I will, but sometimes I'm not around and we'll see. Okay. Good for you. Live the life to the fullest. Tomorrow is not promised. Amen, Maria. Okay, so that's it, you guys. You guys have been wonderful. We have to check out now. Makes me sad. I don't want to go. But you can see this is like the north side of the Cancun hotel zone. Like, if you look, like, it's in the shape of a seven. It, like, curves and then it goes like this. So we're in the bottom of that curve. Can I zoom on this? Oh my gosh, I can zoom. Get the jet skis. Oh, Megan. Megan knows about building in Mexico. She says, I love the fact that you both, you and Tangerine Travels, are honest about Mexico and the experience. That's what makes you guys the best. Oh, do influence, just be honest. Amen, sister. That's exactly it. Tommy, the storm was like not bad at all. Both storms kind of like missed us. When are you guys coming to Mexico? When are you here? Oh, and I'm going back to Iowa. I'm hopefully in about 10 days or so. Um, I'm going to go see my fam, my fam bam, and my grandma, and my mom, and my sister. Um, so I'm really excited to go home, actually. I try to go home every year. And during the fall, it's beautiful. Like, I usually go during Christmas for years. Like, I've been gone for like 18 years. And I'd always go during Christmas. And last year, my friend was two years ago, she's like, come during the summer or the fall. And I'm like, you know, you're right. Last year, I stayed for three months because I loved it so much. I was like, oh, I was kind of pretty. Because I'd always go when everything was dead and cold and you just stayed in all the time. And last year, I went ATVing, I went fishing, I was on a boat, we were at my friend's cabins. Like, I was like, okay, I could do this again. But I can't not go see my family. I know a lot of people are discouraging travel but i feel like my physical health is uh, and my mental health is also, also important and just to go back and see family is just so important for me because i only get to see them once a year um will you continue doing live videos thanks tandre travels for the super chat Woo! um yes i want to like again these are these guys have encouraged me in that just because it's like it gives a different view and it gives the followers something else to see and it's totally different when you get to engage with your community right so i'm thinking to do it every sunday after or saturday i was thinking saturday afternoons because i'm not like that much of a morning person but saturday afternoons and then uploading on sundays um but yeah let me know if that works for you guys if, if saturday lives would work for you 
we can continue doing these kind of things. And thank you for the super chat. That's so cool. I get to say it. Thank you for the super chat. I'm like cool, like tangerine travels. Woo! Um, you should vlog your trip like Jordan did. That's actually a great idea. Jordan, Maddie, so Jordan went back to Minnesota and they did this whole back and forth thing, which I thought was really cool. It's like, well, what's Jordan doing in Minnesota? Well, what's Maddie doing in Mexico? I'm like, that was a really cool, unique video. So, anyways, all right. Gary, hi Gary, how are you? Yes, keep up the live videos. And let me know what kind of things you guys wanna see. I have four videos coming out right now um, over the next month, um, and including the, uh, actually I should say about six videos, but I stayed at a hostel, which was called Cuca Macuca uh, in Puerto Morelos. I know you guys have see, seen me say it all inclusives, but I know there's a lot of solo female travelers or other budget travelers um, that are wanting smaller, simpler accommodations. So I stayed at Cuca Macuca in Puerto Morelos. It's 300 pesos a night, like 15 bucks. And then I stayed at Playa de Carmen in El Taj, which is like two bedroom, two bathroom luxury condos. Then we stayed at Now Jade, and then we stayed here. So that's all the places I've stayed in one month. So it's, I was trying to get it some uh, content for before I left for the States. So I'll just keep releasing videos while I'm traveling there because I don't know how interested you guys will be in Iowa, honestly. Iowa and Missouri, because I'm gonna be in Missouri too. So anyways, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And um, yeah, I'll, I, like I said, in the description uh, box, I will put the link to VRBO. I already have a friend booking this place for her and uh, I think five of her girlfriends. They're wanting to come here. And uh, she was gonna stay on the Lagoon View place. And I was like, why are you staying Lagoon View when you can stay beachfront? And this place was $250 less. So I was like, girl, get here, have your girlfriends, stay on the beach. And we have access to the beach. Oh, that was somebody asked me. They said, uh, do we have beach access? Yes, you have beach access. We were able to hang out on the beach, get beat up by these waves. Like, like really, I got beat up. My shirt came off, my top came off, my bottom came off. It was like a whole show. Like somebody got a good show. Um, but yeah, we had access to the beach. We went swimming, we hung out on the beach. They weren't kicking anybody off, nothing like that. So anyways, thank you guys. You would like to see Iowa? Okay, maybe I will. Uh, where are you going to be in Missouri? I will be in Kansas City for a couple weeks first. And then uh, my friend is gonna pick me up from Kansas City and take me to Iowa. Minus my bad nails. Sorry about that. All right, love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Hope to see you soon in Mexico. Nos vemos pronto en México. Viva México, cabrones. Bye. Now if I can exit out of here, we'll see. Bye. Whee. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Not really, but.